What is going on, people of YouTube? I am Dope, your idiot leader, and we're back again on Dope Comics with another show. Today, we're going to do the yellow cover challenge. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube doing it. Uh, you know, Trev, the shipping guru, my man Metarog, and a bunch of other ones. So I thought, hey, I'm going to go get some yellow covers, and I'm going to do the yellow challenge, cover challenge, yellow cover challenge. Whatever the hell you want to call it, that's what we're doing. Doing yellow covers. So get ready to rock out with your comics out. Let's get started. I just grabbed some. I grabbed probably about 11 or 12. All big books. So get ready. You're going to see some nice history books today. Stuff like this. Uh, Super Magician. Uh, let's see. This is volume two, number six from 1943. So this is a 1943 book. A beautiful yellow cover. We got skulls on it. And uh, there's probably less than 10 on the census. Last time I looked, there's around 10. So, anyway, there you go. Beautiful book from 1943 of November. Beautiful condition. How is that a 3.5? I don't know, but it's beautiful. And there you have it. So, that is the first book I've shown today. Here is uh, from 1949, a Batman 55. Beautiful cover. The things I like about this is, uh, if you look right here, he's got his Joker Zippo from back in the day. This is a Joker, what is this thing called? The Case of 48 Jokers. Because this book's so old, we only have 48 states back then. As you can see, there's a Joker on each state. Uh, beautiful book. What can I say, man? 4.0. Uh, yellow cover from 1949. Batman number 55. I love my Joker covers. So that's a pretty cool book. What else do we got over here? We got so what about uh, from 1964 of January. Uh, Spider-Man 8. You know, you talk about, you know, probably the uh, worst the worst comics in the top 10 of Spider-Man. You'd have to go with 7 and 8. But I love 8. I've got 1 through 100. And I've always been fond of 8, and I'm fond of 10. I love 10, too. A lot of people don't like 10. But, uh, you know, this has got the Human Torch in it. Beautiful book. Uh, versus the Living Brain here. If you look, this is kind of like AI before AI. He's fighting a robot. And uh, beautiful book, 4.5. And I like this one a lot. Yellow cover from 1964. What else do we have in the stack? Let's see here. Here is a book from 1952. LB Cole cover. Uh, this is Blue Boat number 112. Beautiful book. Uh, we got the ground opening up. We got this devil coming out. Looks like something you see on a nightlight. Or a nightlight. Uh, yeah, what do you call that? Black light poster. Not a nightlight poster, but a black light poster. Beautiful yellows, beautiful reds. Uh, LB Cole was the master when it comes to this kind of stuff. Beautiful book and a 2.0 from 1952. So, there you go. What else do we got in the stack? Here's a cool yellow cover from 1974. This is Amazing Spider-Man 129. Uh, when I was a kid, I thought if I could get number 129 and if I could get Amazing Spider-Man 50, that'd be all I ever wanted because my favorite as a kid was The Punisher. And I also loved... Uh, uh, of course, Kingpin. So this one has been autographed by three people. You can see John Romita there, which has passed away. Uh, we got Stan Lee right there, which has passed away. And Jerry Conway right there, which is, uh, you know, uh, he is the writer and the creator, half creator of, co-creator of The Punisher. John Romita drew The Punisher. And then you got Stan Lee. So who else could you want on uh, Amazing Spider-Man 129? And this is my Punisher, you know, not that stuff they made for the last five years. This is the Punisher I love. I've got all of volume one, which ain't but five books. I've got all of volume two, which is like 104 books. I've got uh, all the volumes all the way up through uh, the Marvel Knights and the Marvel Max series. Uh, the last one was uh, 22 issues of Jason Aaron's Marvel Max. But I love the old Punisher. Uh, can't say nothing about the new Punisher. I don't read that crap. But what a beautiful book. And this is the first Jackal and the first Punisher in a 4.0 CGC gold label. 
And it says, uh, it says John Romita signed this on, uh, 7816. Jerry Con Conway and, uh, let's see, Stan Lee signed it on 9316. So that is a beautiful book. Uh, what else do we have over here? Some more yellow covers. We got this, uh, the magazine is Haunted Number 5 from 1952. Uh, got the red dress in distress. We got the zombie coming out on the porch. She's hiding. This is a beautiful horror book from 1952, January. Uh, beautiful detail on that one. Love this book. I love all my horror books. How can you not like that? It's amazing. Uh, what else do we got here? From 1964 of July, we've got Amazing Spider-Man number 14. Uh, I call it yellow cover because most of the cover is yellow. So it qualifies as a yellow cover. And this is the first time Hulk meets uh, Spider-Man in here. And of course, this is the uh, first appearance of the Green Goblin. And as you can see, he's riding only one and only what I call the uh, broom glider before they went to the back glider. Because if you look in the next issue with the Green Goblin in it, he's got the nice bat wing glider. So this is the broom glider. And uh, beautiful book and a 3.5. Gotta love the Green Goblin. He is my favorite uh, Spider-Man villain. So, and then we got from uh, November of 46. I've showed this a couple times here lately. We got this story here. This is a beautiful book. Back in the day, they cared a lot about their baseball, boxing, and horse races. And, you know, the only media you had back then was, of course, radio or uh, reading the newspaper. So, uh, baseball was America's pastime, and we got this nice got this nice ghoul back here he's got a noose around his neck he's got a gun in his hand and he's got a knife and i love the name of the guy in here the picture is don dopey so middle name dopey i mean it's not a bad dopey's not a bad nickname so there you go and this is a uh, true sports picture stories uh uh volume three issue 10 uh it's pretty rare on the census too hard to find and uh here is my first raw book I'm going to show. It's a yellow cover. It is Superman 8. Superman 8. Beautiful book. We got uh, this guy down here shooting a machine gun at a gas tank. Not the smartest guy. This is Superman 8. So, uh, really cool book. Glad to have that in the collection. And uh, what else do we got? We got uh, Superman 57. We got Lois Lane taking care of a uh, Superman here. Another beautiful book. Another beautiful yellow cover. What can you say about that? Another raw book. Uh, beautiful stuff. Lois Lane can do anything that Superman can do. So, beautiful book. Uh, here's my last raw book. It's a yellow book. It is a uh, Superman four. Beautiful book. Uh, the first three Superman books are just reprint stories of action comics. So this is Superman 4. It's the first Superman with actually original stories in it. And it's also the second appearance of Lex Luthor. So it is a beautiful book. Love this. This is Superman 4. Oh, man. Let's see here. Three more graded books and we are done. We have Superman 7. Superman 7, this is iconic, uh, you know, cover. Went on later to be kind of homaged by Neil Adams when he did uh, Breaking the Chains. This is the original Breaking the Chains. Beautiful book and a 4.5, very high grade for a book this old. This is uh, 41, 1941. And this is Superman 11. So, beautiful book there. And uh, next we got Superman number 9 from 1941. Where he is jumping through the pages. How can you beat that? Now, 3.0. Superman jumping through the pages. And uh, my son... 
got me this for Christmas. He's him and my daughter, and this is my son. He uh, drew a card, and we put it inside the bag on back of the book that would always know when I got it. And uh, there's our cats. There's me and my wife, and there's my daughter and son, and our stockings above the fireplace. And uh, just a beautiful book. Love Superman 9. So, and then for the last yellow cover, my favorite yellow cover, and probably my favorite book I own, I always love this Superman 6 from 1940. It's beautiful. This is Superman 6 from 1940. So, this is a 2.5. Got your Daisy gun on the back, your Red Rider gun. What can I say? It is beautiful. Let's see if I can do this. Show you all the Superman yellow covers. You need to collect the yellow covers. I'm not trying to find all the yellow covers. The yellow covers are beautiful. So, anytime you can get a chance to pick one of them up, you should try to pick one of those up. These are history. And I'm glad to do the super, uh, super yellow cover challenge. Hope you like what you saw. Uh, I just grabbed some books out of my boxes real quick. Uh, I've got to hurry up because I just got back from the comic book store. And now I got to get to watching wrestling. It is uh, Wednesday night about 8 o'clock. So just like that, we're under uh, 11 and a half minutes. Uh, we're close to 500 subs. If you like what you see, you're going to see anything on my channel from old stuff like tonight to moderns. From horror to cool action figures to... Video games, the movie posters, the anything horror mask related, anything like that. Just subscribe today. I'd like to get to 500. Um, just like, like, subscribe, com comment, whatever you want to do. Uh, pass it along, brother. And just like that, we're under 12 minutes. And until the next time, read your books.